pay. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. But shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is old. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO and investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with. Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. What's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Yeah. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the Fed. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said fight me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. All right, my turn to move.
Give us the mousy one, and we'll be gone!
straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't. Ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools roll together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking? What y'all? Fucking shit up. Four gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called him, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't flat. I can make sure I can. Sure I ain't clap. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Yes. You show sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially when... <laughs> but you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit and FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. We fine now. Fuck. What the? Yeah, damn. You should have seen your face. Shit. Bullshit. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga.
<laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to turn on their face all day. Bitch, please. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if you have fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here. Oh, shit, man. Nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit. You know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back. But... Damn, man. Uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Fuck you, Lamar. No, nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga. If you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, playa? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be. Hey, when the time is right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all ass. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass, nigga. He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorist on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie, I'll be in touch. And what up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here.
home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. trying to ruin it? A limo gem. Really? The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. Sports 
are in a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle! Hear that fine wood? You hear that fine wood? Hey, I hear it and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! B to the I to the B! Jimmy! Read my necros! Entitled! E N T! Uh, titled! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't... It's a premiere! You are through to the exclusive personal line of Devin Weston. Mr. Hot Neil, I'm really proud of you even though you didn't make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Thanks, Antonio. You make nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking it! <laughs> Fuck you, fake! I may be a lecherous old husband, but I'm a husband with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kids. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame. Um, I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Get over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick I just have a oh. hug. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on. Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on. The girls might be in trouble at the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's going to hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. 
This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extre extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Shit, what's that car? All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. You gotta save them, Pop. Daddy's home, you Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Frag out! Not yet! Stay put! Neither do I! You Just do keep calm! With me. Are you okay? I'm fine, Tracy. You just stay down, sweetie. No one's gonna no one kill you. Daddy's got no, this. Nuts. Take him out. You're going down. I need to uh, oh, 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 Got you, you dick. Oh. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good though, huh? Alright, hey, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Or is Devin Weston? I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. Alright, right. I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? 
Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Who? Right. Oh. The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you. I'm gonna take care of this. My boy Mike! Good to see you! What's good? I hear that. City of Saints and Struggle, Los Angeles, man ain't trouble. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough. Huh? enough! Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh... <laughs> out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one, we hijack their armored cars, we take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up and get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem with some people of that, have we? <laughs> The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friend. Mr. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Uh, now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon? In this charcoal colored Landstalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me! Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. Yeah. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king and leader is my kingdom. Okay, um... 
That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! Me! Ow.
The troll is back in his lair. Now stay off the internet for a while, and don't wind people up so much. I learned my lesson, Dad. I did. Yeah, sure. And I'm a tax account. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. My thoughts are with you. You see, uh, Martin, is he treating you well? If you ever... You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia, I really miss you. I have to go. I'm off in a couple hours. Let's see that new one, the one that just came out. It's about the finance guys. What's it called? Meltdown. Stingers for the big one, Lest. I'm guessing you ain't been up to much. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. What do you think? Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No. No, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. What would you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. He, he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking he could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Sorry I'm late, it's my first day on the job.
would it kill you people to crack a smile? Hey, look out! We got no seatbelts back here! Well, you're late, late, late. That'd be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Barely. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Vanelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem, my source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. Calm down? There's a fucking price on me and you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job.
lose if I have to. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers.
taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Yourself. <laughs> hey, listen, don't make me beg you to make your life mean something today, all right? <laughs> Fuck you, man. What are we doing here? Nothing. Okay, a little something that's gonna help me get some tail from those Midwestern ladies that I get to meet online. Let's pretend for a second that you're not so much of a pussy and vamos, as my cleaning lady would say. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm not racist. I, I meant that ironically, I, uh, I have a black friend and uh, I didn't even really notice that you were black uh, or whatever your people call hey, it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's roll where? Catch you on the flip side, buddy. Hey, yo, did you see that? Half the airport's on the Dominator's payroll today. Better bond fast with that beauty, because you two are going tandem. I didn't bring my idiot translator. What the fuck are you talking about? You're driving that hunk of metal and gasoline out of a taco plane. I'm doing fucking what? As soon as we hit a suitably stupid altitude, we'll come across this shit in the next week. Am I right? Come on, high five! Hell no, man, shit, I don't want you to be the last person I touch! Uh, yeah, okay, air five then. Parachute? Check. ATV? Check. Big pair of balls? Uh, uh, check. Okay, this is happening! was way too intense! Haha! Pants fuller at the back than the front, eh? Well, check me out! Angry Hawk into side slide! Rotisserie Duffy for a slide! Masterfully executed by the Dominator! Screaming Seagull! Ah! Ah! With death roll! 10.0! Cha cha! Arrest me! See you being a real hit with the uh. Ah You feel that? Lightning bolt Zap! You're alive! You know how it feels <laughs> Man, I know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane. Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro. How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out. Today, who plays golf at midnight? That's it, walk away like you always do. Hey, you, listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy, I'll throw some dollars your way. Yeah, I would if I had a vehicle to give you a ride in. Let me see what I can do. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. Just not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. Can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. So, you're just gonna leave all your stuff in the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin has worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Michael. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What is that? Italian? Spanish? You're what, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So, 
What was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? I don't know. I'm not that careful. Then again, neither is my wife. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So let me get this straight. You're pissed because she... If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated. Even though you have cheated. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. Ready to go. All right, that's good work.
let the others know we have everything we need. And we'll meet at the strip club. The biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit. Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state of the art. Cool. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homie. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. Come on, we're on the clock. Let's get to the tunnel. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. It went down okay, didn't it? You don't want me on board? I can walk. You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If there's a diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one, and fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. All right, trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. And no need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. See the bands. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Deploy the stinger. Okay, now keep driving. <laughs> ow! Ow! Good! Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Let's go! Oh shit! Move your ass! You do not! Courtesy escort is go. 
Take us to it. Follow me. Right behind you, sir. And I'm right behind you. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay. 
Okay, 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 the link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this shit seem easy enough. Here we go. Hey, Merck's coming from the east, man. Okay, I gotta go east here. They're waving us through. Change is in. Switched. Hey, look, you gotta go left. Hey, I picked up more Merriweather, northwest of your position. Green light ahead. Changed. Yeah, uh, make a right, right there. This junction. Hey man, they right on your ass, dawg. The light is green. Boy, oh, you practically smell those bastards. Yeah, go right at this junction. Hey man, God's showing up on the west side. This one looks good. Okay, look, so you gonna go right at this one. Shit, more ain't coming from the south. We got a green light. You're good. Hey, the north side, man. Mary was on top of you.
I think that's it. That's the last of them. So much for the bulletless revolution. Man, we always get fucked with. You, hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars, relieve while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags of bulge. Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You want to try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way.
history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Huh? Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that uh, it's going to be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah. Now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done. Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. It's it's fuck, 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 fuck you, you man. Hey, 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 hey. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags. What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel. And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots. Hey, leave Lester alone. Oh, oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You all are assholes. Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit is real illuminated. Franklin, sorry. Come on back, Heather. Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Kinda of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh no, bro. Not me. No. Oh yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds, Steve Haynes, Dave Norton, I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. B, 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 and your answer is... Then you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up and I am in deep training. Buh bye bye Man, fuck you. Cracking, homie. We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man, I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want them gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. Shit. Somebody gotta go. Well, it ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we mean that at Borough Heights. So you think you can help? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do.
Hey man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? Oh, peachy. I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, alright? I ain't having it. Maybe when the heat dies down. This night happens. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking kill us! Kid, to 
Bye. Sometime, homie. Shit, I see you, dog. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. What's the problem, homie? Wait. Carbon based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution, check. Readings are, readings are, shoot. This little machine is broken again, check. Star date 14-9-305, time is 7.89 past the Manx Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL, carbon-based life form. Greetings, home. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. They were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Oh my God, we come in peace. And others said, We have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings, and out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then, they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Resuming data scan. Negative quantum fluctuations. Frequency switch. Emission line broken. Okay, I did it, all right? I know, good dog. Look, man, Devin Weston came to talk to me. He wanted me to clap Michael and let Trevor go. Then you should have clapped both of them. Man, ain't it something you and Dave can do? Cause he might be pissed, man. Dave can't do anything. Dave's lucky I let him do my paperwork. He's this close to discharge with no pension. Well, shit, is this something you can do? Sure, I can talk to Devin. He's licking his wounds after Meriwether lost her license operating the state. He might need a friend. Oh, yeah, okay, shit. I hear it could be real useful having an FIB agent looking out for you. Hey, your chips are cashed, pal. Don't contact me again. Right about stress, dog. Dude janky as fuck. After all the scams and attempted homicides, huh? Now you say he janky? Well, excuse me if I want to see the best in people, nigga. But this is, though, homie, I gotta stay low-key. <laughs> yeah, you do that. And keep breathing, dawg. I'm sponsored. At your ass. I know. No one ever does. A little thin for my taste. But nice. What are you going for, a swim? What do you care? You think I got a fat ass and I only swim because I float easily? I was just making conversation. I'm doing a three-way. A what? A triathlon. Sounds like you got way too much time on your hands. F you. You like a stay-at-home cheerleader, do you? Pathetic. You know what? F you, bitch. I'll beat you. Come on. I promise. I bet you like to beat women. 
I wonder why your ass is sink. Perfect beat to start. I got this locked in. Come on! Shit, you need a vacation or something, lady.
digging that hole for fun. Those six sons of bitches. What was that all about? Just my dad, as usual. That was your dad? What? No. Yeah, I shouldn't really say, but what does it matter now? You're in the life, right? You can't handle yourself like you did and not be in the life. Have you heard of Sammy Patino? Most people call him Sonny. No, why? The Gambetti family? Don't you watch the news? He was Don Gravelli's right-hand man. He more or less kind of ran the East Coast in the 80s and 90s. No? Well, that's my dad. Careful! Father of the year. They tried to pin a murder charge on him in 2007 and we had to go into hiding. Move out west. One day you live in the good life, the next you're moving around safe houses in rat hole hick towns where no one comes looking. And your friends back there? Just the latest in a long line of people who want to get back at Sonny Patino. Could be something he's trying to run from the inside or someone else he squealed on. When he got pinched in 2011, he kind of caught the plea and gave up a lot of people. So he gets to sit in his five-star cell while I'm on the outside dealing with the consequences. My dad was many things, but I never thought he'd be a snitch. <laughs> Whereas you seem like you don't let nothing slip. What's there to hide anymore? It's all out there. They even wanted me to do a reality show. Wise bitches. Daughters of mobsters, cat fighting, and broker. But of course he wouldn't let me. He's so protective. I've always been a daddy's girl. Shit, he could have fooled me. You wait until he hears about this. He'll flip his shit. Seriously. Everyone those two kicks ever talk to is gonna get hit. What's your name, by the way? Franklin. Franklin what? I ain't sure I wanna answer that. He's gonna wanna know who saved my life. Franklin Clint. You'll be made right for this. I promise. Yeah, yeah, if you say so. That's my guy. Thank you again.